Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today I have an Edge TX snippet showing you how to create some logic around a voltage range after a specified time. All right, let me paint the picture for you a little bit. On a certain aircraft that I have, I have a three cell battery, and when that battery voltage sags below a point, I have an alarm to go off. But here's the problem. Sometimes it'll sag just a little bit if I'm really hard on the power, but if I let off the power, it's out of the voltage danger range, so I don't really wanna land just because of that. So what I wanted to do is create a logic so that when the voltage drops below that voltage level for a period of time, then my alarm goes off, but only if it's there for a period of time. And then the other thing that I wanted is I didn't want the alarm to go off when I was on the ground or when I had the plane disarmed. I didn't want the plane to beep at me while I was at the bench, say, after flying a pack, you know, before I got it disconnected from the plane. Let me go through the logic steps with you real quick and I'll show you how it works. I've already got a plane on the side set up and connected with a battery. And for argument's sake, I'm gonna use 11.3. This is a three cell battery, but I'm not, you know, normally I'd use like 10.8, but for the demonstration, I want a voltage level that will trigger for you so you can see the logic work. So we're gonna use 11.3, use whatever voltage uh, information you want. I recommend for a battery under load, 3.6 per cell is a pretty good number and then it should bounce back to about 3.75. So you can do that math, take 3.6 times the number of cells you have. That's a pretty good number for this cutoff value. You might wanna go even a little bit lower than that if you want, if you're really looking for that, that permanent sag below the uh, threshold, okay? I use, we're using 11.3 strictly for demonstration purposes. Another number you'll see down here is six. I'll talk about that in just a minute. So let's cover the logic, okay? The first thing we wanna do is create a on condition and an off condition, all right? The on condition is any time that this voltage is interesting to me, I want the alarm to go on, okay? So that's the that's the on condition. The off condition is any time I don't wanna hear the alarm. So there are times when, like I talked about, when I'm maybe at the bench and, and if I'm at below my sag level, I don't wanna hear the alarm because the plane's landed and the throttle cut's on. So I don't need to hear the alarm when that's going on. So that's what logic three and logic four and five do. Logic three sets the condition that says, and remember my uh, throttle lock is over here. I switch my switches. So my throttle lock is on this side. This is a two position switch on your radio. That's probably a momentary, but on mine, this is a two position switch. Okay. So if my throttle is unlocked, that's condition L03 and notice it went yellow right away. And that's because I set the threshold to be 11.3 and there's my alarm. It already went on. So let me show you the battery real quick. There's my telemetry showing the battery voltage on this particular craft. Right now it's below 11.3. That's my sag threshold. 11.3 is my demo threshold. So I'm below that, right? So if I'm out flying around and my battery goes down to this level, that's an alarm that I wanna be aware of. For L03, I have a function A is less than X, so I'm asking the radio to tell me when my voltage is less than a threshold. My V1 value is the telemetry number or VFAS on this particular setup. My V2 value is the voltage threshold that I want to use. In my case, for the demo, 11.3. Remember, you probably want to use something like 10.8 or 10.75 on your setup. And my AND switch is when the SH switch is away, which means unlocked. So when my when my aircraft hits a, th a voltage of less than 11.3 and my throttle is unlocked, this L03 should be active. So let's take a look at that real quick. We already know the voltage is below 11.3, so all that remains for this condition to be true is for the throttle to be unlocked. So here's an unlock. And there you go, they're L03 lit. Okay, so that's the on condition. That's an interesting state to me. I wanna pay attention to that. The next condition is the off condition or the state that I'm not interested in. So in this case, I assign that to L04 and I use the function A greater than X. So when my telemetry value VFAS is greater than 11.3, I'm not interested. I wanna fly, there's no reason to stop flying. I don't really care what's happening in that case. I just wanna fly. So the L04 is an off condition. It says I'm not interested in the voltage when these conditions are true. So right now, the reason these conditions are true is because I added an OR switch and you can see L05, that's my OR. And what I do with the OR switch is I say, when L04, which is the voltage above 11.3, or my throttle is disabled, meaning SH is down right here, that means that L05 should be active. And you can see the little yellow right there. It's showing you that L05 is active. So the reason my alarm is not going off right now is because my throttle is locked. When I'm locked on the bench,
voltage like I am right now and I'm below my voltage, I really don't want the radio beeping at me. So that's the condition. You can see the L05 meets that condition. It's saying if either L04 is active or if my throttle lock is down, L05 is active. Now we put it all together by assigning a sticky switch. In this case, I used L06 and assigned the function sticky with L03 being my on condition and L05 being my off condition. So remember, a sticky switch is like a light switch. It's either on or off. And the way you toggle it is by one of the other conditions becoming true, just like a light switch. So if you hit a light switch up top, it goes on and it will stay there until you come down and hit the one on the bottom, right? That's exactly how a sticky switch works. So we got L03 turns it on, L05 turns it off. And then notice down here at the bottom, I have a delay that says six. What this means is that th this condition will go active only after it's been true for six seconds. You might want to set yours to 10 or 12 or some other value. I use six for the demo just so we can see it. I'll probably in real life, I'll probably set it to about eight seconds, maybe 10 seconds, somewhere in there. Right, the very last thing we need to do under special functions is take advantage of L06. And in this case, I have L special function number six going active when L06 is on, I play the sound rat tat tat and I do that every second. So that's my beep 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 alert, letting me know that I've got a problem. Okay, let's see how it works. Remember, I've got my throttle lock up here on SH and it's locked right now. When I activate it, we should meet the condition for L03, which should cause the sticky to go active after six seconds. So here we go. There's L03. We'll go through about a count of six. And there it goes. L06 is active and I'm getting the rat tat tat. So hopefully you heard that, but that is definitely playing. Now I can disable that by turning it off. Well, there you go. There's a little Edge TX snippet showing you how to create a logic around a voltage level for SAG only after a given amount of time for an alarm. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down there at the bottom. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.